Hello, my name is Peter Škabla. I'm CFD support engineer and in this video I will show you how to use TCFD post-processing utilities. For this tutorial I chose a radial pump tutorial from our website. I computed the case and when everything was done in TCFD manager I pressed show results. Then case form appeared and now I'm able to watch the results from my computation. Under case form there is section properties. In this section I'm able to decide if I want to see the whole mesh which is this part internal mesh or I want to see only parts of mesh where I can decide which patch I want to see. Under table with patches I have table with arrays of my variables and uh, before I'm able to see them on the geometry I have to pick them here. Later on I will want to see only some parts of my geometry especially rotor component or only volute component and to be able to see them I need to click read zones and press apply. Now I go to filters, alphabetical and extract block. Here I have options pipe zone, impolar zone, volute zone. These zones are identical to my components. Rotor MRF zone is a rotating component and it's identical to impolar. I choose impolar and press apply. When impolar gets loaded I change the coloring of it to solid color and uh, when it changes I decrease the opacity of the impeller to 0.3 so I can see inside. Now I want to see let's say streamlines. Before I press apply I choose that I want to see relative velocity streamlines on the impeller. I know that usually the length of streamline is too short so I decrease it, uh, increase it, sorry, and uh, as last thing I change the source. Now I have this sphere, I would place, I place it approximately to the middle of inlet and now I increase the radius to cover the size of the inlet and streamlines will start from any point of this sphere. Last thing, I increase the number of streamlines and now I press apply. When it's done, I can see white streamlines, but I want to have them with relative velocity. I slightly change the view and this is how you can watch streamlines in your machine. You can see them in the whole machine, not only impeller, but for my video I chose only impeller. Next there are vectors. First I need to hide streamlines, click on extract block, so I will use filter vectors on extract block and now I can choose glyph utility. Here I want to choose relative velocity vectors, change scaling mode to vector and I know this number is usually really large 
and I would have very large vectors, so I decrease it and press apply. Vectors show up and now I want to change their color to relative velocity. And this is how you watch vectors in Paraview. Other practical utilities are slice and clip. They allow you to watch values of your variables in inside of the mesh. Now we can proceed with TCFD post-processing utilities. First, I hide glyphs. I choose extract block again because if I selected some place other TCFD utilities would go gray and I wouldn't be able to click on them. So I choose extract block and now I choose meridional average. Before before I press apply, I need to check if I have correct axis, in my case it's Z direction which is correct and if origin of my machine is in 0, 0, 0 and that's correct. I can press apply. After pressing apply I need to adjust view direction and I want to rotate the geometry and after again showing extract block I'm able to see the meridional average or meridional plane. For now the, it has no value but when I choose pressure now I see the values which are averaged over the circumference. If I would made a simple slice through the axis of rotation, there would be holes from the blades. And now with averaged values, they are not there. This is meridional average. Next post-processing utility is turbo unwrap. To show it, I need first hide meridional average, then go to case form and select hub and shroud walls and press apply. After choosing hub and shroud in case form, I'm able to see them in extract block. I also select them here and press apply. All this was necessary because in Turbo Unwrap Utility I need to select not only mesh I want to unwrap, which in my case is Impeller, but also patches for Hub and Shroud. Press Apply. Now I can see unwrapped mesh. To see it in better detail, I can make a slice in Z direction and uh, let's say 0 0.5 in Z direction. This should be in the middle between hub and shroud. Apply. After the unwrap, Z values are between 0 and 1 where 0 would be hub and 1 would be shroud. So right now with 0 0.5 we are in the middle between hub and shroud. I could also use 0 0.1 and that would give me slice which is 10% of the distance from hub and 90% of the distance from the shroud.
Turbo Unwrap is also good for watching unwrapped vector fields. Difference between scalars and vector is that scalars are transformed automatically and vectors needs to be transformed manually with filters, alphabetical, cell data to point data. And now after apply, I will get correct vector data and I can again make a slice, press apply and uh, now when I hide plane, zoom a bit and choose relative velocity with surface leads, I should get correct vector fields. Surface leads shows the representation of the flow based on relative velocity. I can make the slice a bit nicer when I move the legend here. Then I can make it more colorful when I when I change color mode to multiply and I enhance contrast for the color. And this is relative velocity vector representation in Turbo Unwrap. The last thing I'm going to show in this video is the distribution of pressure around the blade. First, I'm going to hide slice then I need to get back to my original case file and this time instead of whole mesh geometry of impeller I will need blades. I press apply. After apply I go to extract block, I deselect impeller zone and instead of it I select blades apply. Then I click again on extract block so I'm able to use new turbo unwrap filter. I click, it appears in pipeline browser and this time for unwrap mesh I use only blades instead of full mesh. Hub is again hub patch and shroud apply. Then I once again do slice of turbo unwrap in Z direction apply and now for this slice I go to filters alphabetical and plot data apply. Plot filter appears in the right side of my screen, but it shows too many variables. I need to deselect all the variables, select only pressure. Now I deselect use of index for x axis, and instead of it, I choose points y. I still see lines which I don't want to see so I need to click on a line with pressure and I hide line and instead of it I show only points. And now I have a plot of pressure distribution on my blades. And this was the last feature I wanted to show you. Thank you for your attention.